To build a document checklist, a user must have administrative permissions. To prepare, you will want to have your document types entered for the entity or record type you will be working on. See the list management guide and video for more instruction. Open Settings, then click Document Checklist Configuration. SAM will direct you to a list of all entities which document checklists can be created for. In this example, I will create a document checklist under the child. After clicking Child Document Checklist, SAM presents a list of all groups of documents, or what we call document checklists. Within each checklist is a list of document types that make up the checklist. We'll review one. This is the Foster Care Intake Checklist. Within this checklist are all the document types that will be added to a records file when the document checklist is assigned. The sidebar presents actions we can make. At the top of the checklist, we can click the back button to return to the list of child document checklists. We'll now create a new document checklist and use the sidebar links to make modifications. Click Add New Group. You'll then give the group a name. Use language your organization understands as this is the title of the document checklist. Click Save. Now you can begin to add document types to the checklist. If you require a document type that does not exist, click the small edit link to add more document types. Click Save once you've selected the item. Sam will direct you to the edit form for the document checklist. Here you can use the sidebar to modify the document checklist. I'll show you how each link functions. Add a new item to the group. We'll now select another record to add. Click Save. We'll add one more document. Edit group name will allow you to change the name of the group. Click Save to continue. Click Advanced Options to delete the group. Sam will always confirm before making the complete deletion. Once you have completed the setup of the document checklist, all staff can access and apply the list to a record through the Documents link on the Records sidebar. Our new document checklist is available to be added and assigned to a record.